Hey, what's up guys and gals? This is Necro Lion, and we're going to be starting our playthrough of Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands Beta. Now, as I said, this is just a beta. It's the open beta. So we'll be seeing two locations. If you played the initial closed beta, you'll be seeing the initial location they dropped you in in that beta. And they'll be adding one new area for this beta before the whole game comes out on March 7th. We'll be jumping right in. I mean, I'm sure everybody's heard of it. Okay, I get it. I start a new game. I don't care. We'll begin a cutscene, so right here, I'll stop talking. Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the Sorry. photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval. My friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the U.S. and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production. Smuggling security, and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, boss of bosses, El Sueño. Is there any more? Any more cutscenes? If no, okay. This we can create a character. Yeah, you can personalize your character, make himself male, female, whatever you want him to wear. It's actually pretty pretty good customization options. Basically, what they did is they gave you the backstory straight up, so you don't have to always find like you know files to you know look at the lore or whatnot. So, as I said, a guy as uh guy named Ricky Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. The Santa Blanca cartel runs the entire government now, basically. Or, well, the government looks away from them. They might as well run the government. They basically run the country. What they did is they killed all, most, basically, like, 90% of the police, 90% of the politicians, the journalists. Killed enough for the rest to be scared not to do anything. You know, and in the process, basically went from number 147 on the list to number 4. They became such a powerful, you know, entity that it really just kind of spiraled out of control for them. But right now, let's focus on creating the character. I am going to create a female. Yes, I create females. My face, uh, what the I forget what I, cho I chose my face. God, yeah, let's go with Mason. What about the numbers, Mason? What do they mean? That's a reference for y'all. Uh, we will go with... We'll go with Walker. Mm. Looking fine with that almost albino skin. 
All right, eye color, we are gonna go with, uh, we'll go with a gray. No facial hair, obviously. Hair. I'll show you what all we all have. Right now we got the squared away look, which is, yeah, it's not bad. Just, you know, put back in a bun, it's not too bad. And I'm gonna admit, you know, details aren't the greatest. I don't, me personally, I don't look at a game, you know, based on just graphics alone. Because some of the best games out there are indie games. And, you know, they don't have the greatest of graphics. And you look at Stardew Valley. You know, not the greatest of graphics. Awesome game. You know, not every game needs to have amazing graphics. Needs to run at 60 FPS. Needs to do this or that. You know, a lot of gamers do that because they, you know, I get it. Console should run at that. Most of the time, it's not going to happen. Back to the game. Uh, we got the squared away look, uh, we got shaved, you know, standard issue shaved, uh, we got ponytail, uh, we got the undercut, we got shaggy, where's Scoop? We got a mo- how is it? If anybody would love to explain how that's a mohawk, I would love to listen. We got cornrows. Right, that's what they're giving us for the beta, mind you. Now everything's out. We'll go with undercut. I actually like the undercut look. Uh, we'll go with red. It's more of a brown, but I'll take it. Facial detail. Oh, yeah, we got the razor slash. We got the eye scar. We got a bump and a burn. We'll go with the burn. All right. Yeah, we'll go with the. I don't we'll go with the burn. We'll go with the burn. Nah, we'll go. With, uh, I, I'm gonna choose. We'll go with the ice car. Appearance now. We got body details. We can get fa facial paint. Yeah, yeah, none of them. Right arm tattoos. All right. Ooh, that's, just, that's not bad. Not bad. We got the traditional sleeve. We got traditional detailed. Uh, we got the dye sleeve. Sapper. We we'll go with the Santa Maria. Left arm. Flag and eagle. Ooh, I. Oh, we're going. We got the battle flag and eagle. Yeah. Merka. Merka. No, I'm not saying this off. I'm sorry. Uh, let's start with the. What about the helmet? Oh, it's, that's an accessory. Uh, we'll start with the hat on oh, top. Where's our vest at, actually? I'll take the vest off for now so I can look at the, actually everything. Hoodie, jacket, striped fleece. Uh, morning fans, Ghost Recon Network. Uh, that's the Santa Blanca. That's actually pretty cool, but I'm not going to wear it. Oh yeah, we got the tank top. We got the standard tank top. We'll go with this. We'll go with a double polo. Is it an accessory or something again? No. Oh, there was more to the uh, closed beta. We'll go with that. It's, it's kind of funny, actually. Well, we were going to Santa Blanca, uh, not Santa Blanca, but we're going to uh, Bolivia, which is in South America, so it kind of makes sense that we'll have a t shirt on or tank top at least. I'm not trying to look too fancy. We'll go with a, uh, not bad. We'll go with the standard woodland camo. Uh, vest now. No, 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 no. All right, really, shoulder pads? No. Uh, yeah, we'll go with you, I guess. Let's get the. Let's get something to match it. Multicam area, get out of here. Let's 
trap it, mandrake. Want to camp woodland. Got some pants. Ooh, cargo pants? I do like those. What about the tacticals? What are the... Ooh, I forgot. Uh, tactical C's. That's what we want. Hiking boots? No, we'll go, we, we'll go standard issue combat boots, people. No, we don't want no ghillie suits. Oh, yeah, they have like special outfits you can wear. Which, that one right there is actually pretty cool. I do like that. I mean, we got, you know, standard issue crap. But the only thing I do not like is the headset and the hat. But, uh, yep, I actually like that. I do like the... I don't even know how to pronounce it. I forgot how to pronounce it. Vision Bolty, Ant Goggles, Ballistic, ballistic Goggles, Eye Patch, Oakley Straight. I like these. These are badass. Uh, no helmet, thank you. Uh, we will go with an earpiece. Backpack, yeah, I like the backpack. Handwear. We'll go with a fingerless Kevlar. Actually, I'm going to pick, what is it? Actually, we'll go through the sets again. And, no, uh, you're kind of weird. Let's try with the ghillie suit. And do I look like a weirdo? Actually, I do like that. Can I mix anything on this? Yeah, I can. Cool. Uh, yeah, it's the hat. It's just I'm going to mix a few things up on there. Besides the Oakley Pilots and everything. I like everything else, though. Alright, I think we look pretty good. And yeah, we look pretty good. I like that. I actually like that a lot. Alright, let's do this. We'll go with uh, arcade is easiest mode for laid back experience. Enemies take more time to attack and shoot at ghosts. That will just do normal. Oh, you guys probably heard that. That was my hip popping. Wow, we already 12 minutes in. Dang. Cutscenes, creations, you know, the gist. I'll play for a little bit longer for this, you know, let you guys see how combat is and everything like that. Oh, God, I'm like dying over here. Jeez. Cutscenes, and uh, cutscenes are cutscenes. Character actually Jason does talk, but it's cool. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. I'll turn it up if I need to. I just need to wait to see the guns shoot. I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker for about five years means living rough but as a cover it gets me out and about at least it comes with a chopper how'd you get in country a fluent business class from Manaus. hey i'm refreshed and ready for work right i just hitched rides from barranco peru how about you i got on board a bus in Huawei, argentina and drank all the way to via zone nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus that explains why you smell like ass. Yeah, everybody ripping into each other. Jeez. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved. Must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. You should tell that to my kids. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Oh, shit. Being someone who doesn't officially exist. You tell
tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. We are a bitch. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize, how you desensitize, you can't prepare for elsewhere you. Hmm. Guess he hasn't met Americans yet now, has he? <laughs> Turn my front on him either. Jeez, I'm creepy. <sighs> Sorry for the long cutscenes, guys. Did anybody see that though? I roasted my kid. He's like, hey, take out the trash, you dumb shit. Sorry guys, I have an addiction to sunflower seeds. That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pakatari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There is no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to resist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he is in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaro is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions. Can I kill you instead? You're starting to piss me off. This guy's like a right down prick. He is so annoying. Coast Recon Wildland. Welcome to the fun, boys. All right. Under and your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always. In yeah, we do have files and such that you can find throughout. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and a firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. So we go here. Our teammates are Midas, Holt, and Weaver. We happen to be Nomad. Standard issue, you know. Press it, pressing their you know, left stick the sprint. Uh, Y to switch weapon. Double click to pull your pistol. And it goes in the first person when you aim, which I find pretty cool. Driving, not my favorite, mind you, but it will work. Buckle up, people. Yeah. 
Sorry, I was a little sketchy. I mean, we are on dirt and we are basically flooring it. Well, other than that, I don't mind the driving. Driving's pretty fun. I mean, we always keep two hands on the wheel, so. Other than that. Oh, yeah, by the way, this is official gameplay. There is no cutscene right now. You can order them to shoot if you need to, mind you. Press up on the D pad and order to shoot. Uh, shoot order and, well, they call it an assault order, technically. You know, poke out to uh, end up attacking, I guess. Fire, fire, fire. See, they'll poke out. And if you stop it, they'll get back in. It's actually pretty nifty when you're chasing people down. Oh, I hope I didn't kill him. I think they'll tell you if you kill somebody. Your goal is obviously to not kill civilians. Holy crap. Alright, let's get out before I crash. Oh yeah, B is to go prone. Hold B to go prone. Press B to uh, crouch. Alright, here's the recon tutorial. Uh, take time to mark enemies and their fences. Press up to use the drone. Press B to, um, down to use the binoculars. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, okay, we got some binox. Uh, we got vision mode. We got night vision, so it's pretty cool. We got, got it there. Say the word. Yeah, you can have them shoot for you. Ready. Call the shot. I don't know, I have the pull day, never mind. Say the word. There we go. Yep. He's gone. See? They'll take the shot for you and you don't have to suppressors. We got company, stay sharp. Yeah. Which is cool because suppressor is always usually equipped most most of the time suppressor is always equipped. Synchronized shooting. Aim at a target and press A to synchronize mark. Uh, shoot or hold A to initiate a distinct shot. And co op sync marks help you prepare your assault. So, I'll hold the drone for this uh, one. He spotted one with submachine guns. That time. All right. Ready to fire. We're done. Tango down. How do, I don't know how that guy didn't know us to be completely honest. Pull the drone. Cause I don't feel like, you know, trying to shoot his ass while he's moving. Corner shot. Ready. Call the shot. Shot cleared. Shoot. Got it. Cool. Good to go. I think the synchronization. Ooh. Yeah, there's different uh, supplies you can grab as you go on, like. We get gas. Um, like here's all of our skills: your weapon, drone, item, physical squad, and rebel support. Rebel support is you have to do certain missions for them, but other than that, it's not too bad. These you get as you level up, like you revive speed, sync shot. Like each one though requires a point, which is the blue like up arrow, which you get a point for you know. Leveling up, you, you get a point every time you level up, and then it takes one of the four uh, types of uh, resources you can find throughout the thing: gasoline, like fuel, medical supplies, communications, and food. Each thing, everything's gonna cost something. 
Yeah, you all you do is throw a little tracker in there. Yeah, it seems like there's a hot. Uh, there was a hot still down there. Yep. See, we got some medical supplies right here. Actually, I never noticed these the first time. Medication, fifty points. Yeah, that sure got his fucking attention. I just kicked him in the dick. I'm an asshole. That's the lieutenant. First one he's making a break for. I can't really shoot him either. It's kind of cool because you automatically get behind cover. Got some ammo. You can do a loadout. There's actually some pretty good guns in here. Like you have the M4, um, M40A5, an MG Super Shotty, M1891, P90, PP19. There's just a bunch of different guns that you can use as your uh, primary and secondary rifle, um, weapons. AK47, ACR. Uh, the Type 95. Wow, they actually add, it seems like they added some new ones. The MK14, the M4A1. Oh yeah, they've added a lot of weapons since I played the closed beta. Whoo, man, they added a lot of one. But yeah, you'll see like it'll say like uh, what to do like uh, explore Media Luna to unlock the Vector 45 ACP. You know, it'll say like, something uh, to oh my, how you unlock it. It'll tell you how to unlock it. Like, for instance, this one, you just have to explore the area to get it. Explore the, um, explore the initial area, explore the initial area. I forget where the next area is at. Give me the tag map real quick. I want the tag map. Uh, where's the other one? It's this area right here is the one they give you in this beta so that means let's see what what comes with that any place any weapons I can get from there I want to see sorry I'm going through these fast but I'm checking one look at the HTI seems you can get from there uh, the MSR you can get from there. The TAR-21, that's nice. I'm locked for the Ubisoft Club. Alright, then these are just defeating people. That's an Ubisoft Club. Yep, that's actually not bad. What, else, what can we put on these? Do we have any parts? Got an extended barrel and a folded barrel. Uh, oh, digital, a PK Russian. Man, they actually added some stuff. Standard extended, under rails, rail cover systems, lasers, nice. Uh, standard long, suppressor, stock muzzle. Oh, yeah, they've definitely uh, added some stuff. I got the Santa Blanca um, Scorpion. Forty five nineteen eleven. Yeah, they got a lot of pistols and stuff. It's actually a fairly drawn out game. For weapon wise, mind you. Alright, let's I should get back to this real quick. Woo! Man, we're hostile kills. Alright, there we are. What was he using? Oh, he was using a P nineteen. Now you can grab their weapons if you wish. It's you don't have to, but you can. 
I never did, so. But that's just me. I play how I wish to play, and I don't play how anybody else wishes to play. This is like the super most impractical way to shoot a gun, but hey, I'm not gonna stop her. Let's, go this, let's send this drone out, see. Okay, looks like we got, you know, a truck driving by. That's about it. All I'm seeing. He's in that building right there. Anything over there? Nope, just some motorcycles. Oh, there's one guy. Just put it on synchronize the mark here. Where are you, Gal? You're right there. Oh, Jesus. Guys, I don't know why they didn't kill me. I mean, they are gangbangers, so I guess they are stupid. But, oh well. Nah, I don't know. It's probably just AI crap. This is, uh, you know, a beta still. So it doesn't mean it's to be the greatest, guys. Never said the game was, you know, even the best. Alright, you get your ass over here. I'm gonna interrogate. I think that's all of them. Fast, 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 Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Lo entiendes? Chill the fuck Jesus. up, cabron. What do you want? Amaru, where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru's a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. This is true. Much riding on this. Let's move. Yeah, let's move. I'm gonna take a motorcycle. I never drove the motorcycles in a while, so we'll try them again. Uh, more food. We'll try, we'll, we're, we're gonna see what's around here first. Food. Uh, nothing there. Let's get moving. Oh, the there's someone over here. Track down and rescue Amaru. Uh, oh no, this is just uh, ammunition. All right, cool. Let's grab this motorcycle. Let's roll. Oh god. I forgot how crappy these are. Oh, there it's probably just my inability to drive. But we'll see how well this goes. What's E break? Oh dear god. That is not E break, guys. Do not press X. Okay, E breaks A. We're gonna try to E break this shit. Oh god, that guy was hanging. All right, that actually looked pretty cool. I survived that once. Alright, I'm officially sick of rocks, guys. There we go. Alright. Jesus Christ. Remind me never to drive a motorcycle again in this game, ever. Alright, guys. These things are the most unstable piece of work out there. Woo! Oh god. <sighs> Scared me for a second there. Jesus. I don't think that's how gravity works. 
still having a blast though. Just playing this again, I'm just still having a blast playing it. it is probably the single handedly no. I think it's kind of cool, to be honest. I mean, you guys probably think it's dumb for all I care. I mean, I'm not exactly playing this for views or likes or whatnot, but... But hey. I'm just playing to show you guys what it's like, to be honest. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. Mamaru gets killed by a stray round. Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. Health will just regenerate. Re Take fire from the barn. Yeah, as you see, watch she'll her health regenerate. See, level two. Is everybody, uh, is everybody dead? Let's clean up and move on. Alright, we'll go some ammo. It'll show you on, like, what's uh, on the radar, what's able to be, like, tag supplies or anything. Some more communications. Alright, uh, yeah. We got some skill points. Alright, let's see what we want to put a skill point into. Uh, probably some... You know, have to be revived. Stamina is laying now. Stamina's fine. Dark resume. Mind division war. I don't know. Is it more shit in this? Probably. Stable aim. Probably good for sniping. Revive speed. Extra sink shot. We'll grab an extra sink, sink shot. Because it's actually very nice. Alright, stand back. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here. Alright, there we go. You know, and I'm gonna take the helicopter that's just literally sitting right here. Even though I don't want to drive. I, mean, I'll pilot. I kinda have to, unfortunately. Yeah, let's see if I remember how to do this. Alright, I'm in. Pacatari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor. As you can see, he's not too grateful to be taken back to Katera. Not my strong suit either, apparently. But we'll get used to it sooner or later. We're just gonna have a blast with this game, guys. By blast, I mean mostly we will literally blow ourselves up. So, yeah, there's that. Oh god. Oh god, I'm about to freaking just totally tip this whole thing. Which will probably be hilarious. Alright, soft landing, soft landing. Let's do this. By soft landing, I'm probably gonna blow myself up. This is it. Hold up. This Ooh, is that was probably the hard. Ooh, weapon keys. Damn, weapon. What's in it? Awesome. I can put this oh, yeah, this is where you get the uh, rifle. 
We'll load the rifle up. We'll do the rifle. There we go. Forgot, does it come with a... Yeah, it already comes with a scope. All right. Comes with a standard issue scope. We'll do the rifle. All right. Extract. Here we go. Down with that mission. Are you hurt? Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they have questioned me. Let us see. Their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not. Were not. Were their names Yuri and Polito? See, si. Yuri and Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned them. I want them back. We only saw run of the mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's got to know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. All right. That was definitely that. Heads up. Bowman file on Yuri right. and Polito is coming through. I'll grab a mini bus, guys. That's the rundown right. on Yuri and Polito. They're key. Here's Yuri and Polito. There were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was murdered. El Sueño, the head of the Santa Blanca cartel, Ricky, and the last two were La Yuri and El Polito. Yuri and Polito met at a poor state-run hospital in Chiapas, where El Polito was doing his residency, and La Yuri worked as a nurse. It was love at first sight. From the first moment their eyes met, they were inseparable. A love like no other. One day, a Buchan named La Plaga walked into the ER, all shot up. It was touch and go for a while, but Yuri and Polito were able to save his life. La Plaga was grateful. He showered them with gifts, invitations to the most exclusive parties, even a new car. And after a while, La Plaga made Yuri and Polito the personal medical staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. But that wasn't their main job. See, Yuri and Polito know about the human body. They know how much pain a person can endure before he'll die. They know how to keep a person alive and awake so they can feel the pain. And most of all, they know how to inflict that pain. That's what they do in Itaqua province. When Santa Blanca captures someone that refuses to talk, the Yuri and El Polito make them talk. They break people. Like I said, there were four people in the room the night Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sueño, Ricky, Yuri, and Polito. They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him. Non-stop for 47 hours straight. They broke Ricky Sandoval. Then Sueño executed him. Part of Santa Blanca's security Damn. operation. That's hardcore. Remember to check out Bowman's briefing on their chain of command. Guy in charge of security is El Muro, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend to El Sueño. El Muro's little brother is La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. Very active on social media. Head Sicario for the cartel. The hunt starts now. Dude, you gotta, thank you. We gotta work our way up the hierarchy. First targets are Yuri and Polito. We find the intel, we... Alright, we can go to these unknown locations and find some crap. We got outposts. Rally point stuff like that. We'll go over here to this unknown Back location down, first. We take him out. Ahí lo tienen. The truth straight from the lovely lady's mouth. And now, back to the music that makes your culo bounce up and down. See, there are a lot of people walk in this country, which... Oh, Jesus. Which, again, I don't blame them. I would walk, too. Vehicles with this turning right here, Jesus. What's here? 
Oh, there's a lieutenant here. Let's interrogate. A lot of these lieutenants seem to not really care. They just kind of sit there while you talk to them. Let's just see. And this one's actually kind of interesting. Why is there a pink dot there? But yeah, there's... May, there's these are where intel is. I think these are missions. Yeah, I believe they're missions. But you'll see what I mean. Like you talk to this guy, and he just won't care. There's a way to put your gun away. I totally forget. Explore the province to find information about that, about its cartel leaders. Uh, select major intel on the tag map. Unlocks new missions. Get some medical supplies. Are we at it? He's eating dinner. Now I feel bad. We'll talk to him now. Nomad, I've got Pakatari on the line. Sounds like he needs our help. Put him through. Hola, compadre. I have a problem in Itaqua, and Bowman says you might be able to help. My people need help. There have been many losses to the cartel, and the horrors inflicted by Yuri Polito have broken mm. their spirit. Yeah, you got any cheese may about the cartel? As you can see, says, um, one of them is locate supply raids, locate no, skill points, and locate, Over. and locate rebel ops. We will locate supply raids. Pack, this is Nomad. How do you read? Over. Loud and clear. Alright, these are supply raids. Conduct supply raids to gain large amounts of supplies. Use, um, essentially, what, I forget what that symbol's called. To locate the supply raids on the target, um, targets on your map. You use it to unlock new skills. Back. They're essentially your experience points. Kinda. Like right here, you get we'll get um two thousand gasoline, we'll get you know, twenty five hundred comms um tools. Uh right here we'll get, you know, thirty five hundred medicine. So we'll head over here, we'll get this major intel first, and then we'll I have a problem in head into that place. My people need help. Yes, I got it. Okay, cool. inflicted by Yuri Polito have broken their spirit. The fires of revolution have almost gone out. Spare me the rhetoric, Katari. Just tell me what you need. There is a cartel supply convoy passing through the province soon. Capturing it would give my people much needed supplies and restore their morale. Can you do this? Consider it done. Taking orders from Pat Katari now? Katari. Katari needs this convoy. We're gonna give it to him. The more he depends on us to get shit done, the more we... Are you... Yuri? What's that? Those aren't there. Can get but, out of him in return. Ah, oh, yeah, these guys. These guys suck. Weapons free. Weapons free. Oh, you're a rebel, that's why. Yeah. Good damn patrol on or Oh, these guys blow because they don't just leave you alone at all. Okay, well, the rebels can't attack you, Dan. I don't care. Yep, civilian killed. Civilian. Oh, does it look like I give a damn? Killing civilians can lead to a game over. Yeah, so your best bet is literally to not run them over. Like, you know, morons. Like the moron I am. Don't pop my lead. I'm trying. I'm literally gonna get back to the road now. See, they'll hang you. Yeah. It's pretty bad. It is pretty bad. This guy is squealing like a rat. Yeah, why to put it away, okay. Yep, Unidad, alright. 
Unidentified forces are a dangerous enemy faction that will attack you on sight. Killing Unidentified soldiers raises the Unidentified patrol level unless you're undetected. Keep your low profile to increase the Unidentified patrol level. Yeah, these guys don't mess around. They are seriously bad news. Unfortunately, one of your missions, uh, I believe it's over here, is to infiltrate the Unidad uh, area, which sucks. It is not a fun mission at all. Uh, let's see, what do we want for our next uh, thing? We can get the parachute, which isn't too bad. Uh, this is our drone. We got stable aim. Yeah, we got get stable aim. It's actually a nice skill. I pulled my headphone out, that's why. Uh, we'll grab this car. Might as well. Wait, what's across the street? Uh oh, some intel caches. Alright. Just down the road. We'll grab an intel cache. I'm in. Let's go. Sorry, I'm doing a lot. Of, I, do, I tend to do a lot of side stuff also. As you can see, I might as well try to collect everything. These people are probably wondering why like, we have entered the building. Right, let's see if I can find this intel cache. Is it upstairs? Yeah, it's upstairs in here. Yep, it's right here. Cool. Hack the computer. We will locate the skill points. Yep, see, then they'll put on, like, uh, the locations of all the skill points. Which is pretty cool. Like, you can literally go and just find the points. You don't have to earn them. Uh, yeah, we'll... Let's go. They can catch up. I don't have time to wait for them, unfortunately. Hey, how are you trying not to walk in a little street, dip tip? So, uh, yeah, there's major intel right here. Let's get intel. Take some pictures. Document mentions an Unidad. Uh, this time mentions Unidad. Yep. For interrogations. He's got to know where our lovebirds are, but he's sitting in an Unidad fire. Wait. Fucking hell. Enemy down. You're kind of in the middle of a firefight right now. No, I don't want to throw a grenade. That's how you throw it. Dominated, man. This document mentions an Unidad captain who sends prisoners to your. Yep, that mission's down here. Reach the F FOB armadillo. This mission is what I was talking about. This mission is somewhat hell because it is incredibly hard. In Polito for interrogations. He's got to know where our lovebirds are, but he's sitting in an Unidad fire. Hold up. This is white. Hmm. Okay. Talk shit about white people. I see. I don't care all that much, actually. To be completely honest, you can talk shit about white people all you want. We are crazy people. This document mentions an Unidad captain who sends prisoners to Yuri and Polito for interrogations. He's got to know. All right. Thank you. I got that the first time. Just trying to get to this helicopter, which happens to be up there. They're gonna be on top 
with us in another few seconds. What do we do? We get our butts out of here. That's what we do. We get our butts out of here, and uh, what should we do? Uh, we'll take the plan. We'll, we'll get some points for ourselves. Now station everything away. All right, get in. I put. Guys, oh, ready. Stop, stop. Fire. Um, Roger. Really not. I got a fire at. Ouch. Target down. Similar. Flying right over it. Fire. So, uh, or assault. Engaging. Yeah, unfortunately, they will try and steal the helicopter. I mean, that plane. Set her down. Right here. Yeah, that helicopter. I keep calling it a helicopter. It's not a helicopter. It is a plane. It be a plane, boys. It be a plane. We'll grab these supplies first. I mean, we're gonna get a crap load of gasoline first. I mean, anyways. We got gas, food, and, and we, you don't know what it's gonna be, yet, unfortunately. Got gas, food, and uh, looks like medical supplies. Yeah, whenever you go do like a mission like this or like a main mission, or not collect all the supplies you can. Really, that's like the best thing you can do. It kind of secures you here. getting. Yeah, the car it's the cartel metals that get like you your points. Oh, did she just roast the Air Force? She, I, I swear she just roasted the Air Force. Uh, we'll get mines. Mines are pretty cool. I never learned how to use mines. Like, are they part of the loadout? Like, how do you use mines? That's my question. Like, can I just use mines? Frag out. Oh, okay. Nope, nope. Damn it. I blew up the, I blew up the plane. Just lost the plane. Yep. I Mission knew reported. it. Everybody fall back. Alright, well, that was extremely dumb, and you guys can say so. I mean, like, please, just say I'm stupid. <sighs> Let's go get this intel, because, you know... Necro Lion stupid and blows up the side objective. I never learned how to use like how to switch to the mines uh, options. Gameplay maybe. Ah, uh, oh, all right. There's two. I, I like using the iron sights. That's pretty cool. Uh, toggle aiming mode. All equip. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, controls. How do we switch the mines? Okay, that's interesting. Well, anyways, as I said, Necro Lion's dumb. He probably should just learn how to use things before, Ready? you know. Open fire. Open fire. He, you know, decided. He's dead. Fly around here. Can't land. Right, we're landing. Thank God this isn't like you know, just cause where you land and basically your helicopter will blow up. Suppressor and I'll use. Yeah, I can remove my suppressor. 
Thanks for the information, though. There's another helicopter nearby. That's awesome. Kicking door. Right in here, we got some food. Some ammo. Okay, there we go. That's how we use the mines. Alright. Necroline is dumb. Necroline doesn't read things, apparently. Whatever. Whoa, somebody looking at duty mags. We got a 20 on the garage where Polito parks his sports car. We snag that, we snag his GPS. Maybe something there will tell us where he and his girlfriend are. Yeah. Alright, let's, uh, we'll grab the helicopter and we'll head to the next mission area. Question mark. Oh, these have, this has guns on it? That's dope. Uh, we'll do the, we have, uh, El Puyo's Garage, Stop and Tag the Santa Barbara Convoy. We have a helicopter now, so I mean, we'll do that. A whole day to fire, alright, that's cool. Did he just make a crack about my flying? He, he made a crack about my flying, I'm pretty sure. But man, there's a lot of helicopters around here. Well, let's get moving. Yeah, this convoy is not an easy one either. And I only say that because it's it's moving constantly. My girlfriend does not understand the concept of I am recording. Like, she really doesn't. Love her to death. Annoys the crap out of me. They just pass by the garage. They pass by the garage. Fox, this is the garage. Do a kill order. Sound off if you spot Polito's car. Roger that. Yep, that's how you do a run. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Run. Run. Run because that's about to blow up. We're good here. Give me the vehicle. Give me the vehicle. Give me the vehicle. Get out of the fucking vehicle. Thank you. Get him, 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 get him. I swear to God, dude, you are starting to... These guys are slow. Uh, ram an enemy vehicle or kill its driver to stop it, tag the main truck. Don't worry, you're fine. Oh, we can't really open fire just yet, guys. Oh, they just got... Swish cheese. Now has a new website. You can find his personal blog and all the video content. It's got a new website. Keep behind them, at least. So they're gonna shut up. Ramp the crap off. Oh. Yeah, apparently if you kill a surrendering enemy, they also... Well, thankfully your teammates can revive you. This was actually a perfect opportunity to show that they can revive you. It will take a little bit so when all enemies do have to die. Damn, that was close. He's got the F4A one. Give me, give. 
Thank you for the M4A1. Oh, it's got a dope sight on it too. We got American military weaponry people. Tagging supplies. Radio gears All right. We'll tell the rebels where to come get their new That was Let's move. Yep. That mission's done. Uh that is fire and town rebel op. We will do this uh mess and one to make up for the last botched mission. Where are you guys? Come on. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Attack, this is no man. Thank you. The convoy is secure. Gracias, amigo. My people will make good use of those supplies. My people are searching for La Yuri El Polito, but in the meantime, there is something else you can do for us. I have prepared a speech for the people of Bolivia. It is a call to arms that we will broadcast from Itaqua. Santa Blanca is going to send troops to shut that down as soon as they hear the transmission. You see my problem? I need someone dependable to find a radio transmitter and protect it until the broadcast is complete. Okay, Katari. We'll get it done. Lieutenant's trying to Put escape. What? Did you guys see where the grenade went? Because it obviously killed me and I don't know where it was. Uh, anyways, well, let's do this real quick. Ah, gaming my other weapons. Gay! I put my freaking drone out. Oh, you caramba. Oh, he stole the freaking helicopter. Jesus. Could you let me die, please? Because I'm flubbing everything out today. Today is not my freaking day. I got my girlfriend in my ass right now. Ugh, fuck, it took you so long. Clear. How are you guys holding up? Where's my freaking? Oh, this thing doesn't have a suppressor. Oh, whatever. Well, there's always another chopper out there somewhere, right? Lady, you are like... I don't know. Sometimes I just don't get you. Yeah, I'm flubbing everything, guys. I am sorry. You know, today's just we'll not my day so right now. Can pick up these supplies. Yeah, I did freaking amazing in my For Honor recording, and now I'm just flubbing everything up in this beta. Man! What we got here? Equipment caches. There we go. There's a nice one. There's a nice record. Oh, nice one. Some equipment caches. Now that's not just right. That's just not just equipment. It's equipment and accessories. Mind you. Okay, let's go find an actual like, regular vehicle. I'm not gonna steal one. This. What is there? Uh, helicopter there. Alright guys, I'm gonna call the episode there. I got other, th and it's not, you know, I would love to keep playing. You know, I got other things I need to do. 
do not mean no, she annoyed me. But I do have to make it up to her. But, yeah. I'm going to call you up to there. I've been flubbing up this whole episode. I mean, probably funny. Probably hilarious to watch. But I'll do better in the next episode, I promise. I'll show you more of the beta. You know, we'll be getting back to For Honor. We'll be playing, you know, Borderlands, the pre-sequel, Fallout 4, Sniper Elite 4. We got a good variety going right now. You know, this has been Necro Lion. Even though I did not do great in this episode, you know, what I feel I should do. I will see you guys in the episode. Drop a like, subscribe, drop a follow. You guys know the routine. You guys are awesome. I will see you in the next episode.